former Mid-South teacher charged with raping one of her former students appeared in court today. You may remember Alyssa McCommon, a former fourth grade teacher in Covington, was originally charged in September. She was arrested again after police say she started harassing that victim. Action News 5's Bria Bolden was in court today for McCommon's preliminary hearing. New information we learned today in court. The victim at the center of this case is now 15 years old. Prosecutors telling a judge he was actually 12 years old when the alleged rape happened. Former Charger Academy teacher Alyssa McCommon back in court Monday. All right. Three witnesses testified at her preliminary hearing. A Covington police detective, an asset protection representative from Walmart, and the child at the center of the case. Certainly uh, we felt the evidence uh, went beyond what was necessary, which is just to prove that it's more likely than not or that there's probable cause uh, that she did in fact commit these crimes. So that, that's what the judge found today. Uh, we're pleased with, with that decision and, and to move the case forward to the grand jury. The public and media were not allowed inside while the 15-year-old testified, but new evidence presented in court by prosecutors allegedly shows McCommon on camera after buying a phone from a Millington Walmart. Police say she violated her bond in September after she contacted the victim. <laughs> Um, and that photograph, does she look like someone that's in the courtroom today? Yes. And could you identify the person that's in the courtroom today? That's this lady over here. The defense and prosecution are at odds about how old the victim was at the time of the alleged incident, saying it happened at the beginning of the 2021-2022 school year. Prosecutors claim the victim was 12 years old at the time of the alleged rape. McCommon's defense attorney says otherwise. The alleged incident date is like within a week of the child's birthday. So the reason that's important is the charge would change uh, if the child was 13 versus 12. So obviously that's something that we're going to want to flesh out in the next court. Mason says his client remains in good spirits and her mental evaluation came back clear. A grand jury will decide whether or not to indict Alyssa McCommon on those charges. If they do decide to indict, this case will move to circuit court. Reporting in Tipton County, Bria Bolden, Action News 5. Now, the judge in the case, Jennifer Scott, chose to uphold the previous ruling to keep McCommon's bond revoked. She is still in jail tonight. No word yet on when the grand jury will meet. A man is